Howard Nima, and Vinny Be The Truth, and you're listening to and watching We Are Change. Okay, uh, this is a news time slot for us. We're going to be doing the live broadcast, the Saturday broadcast, from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, from now on. However, from 3 to 5, there'll be the rebroadcast of the Friday show. So uh, when we're doing the Friday show, we're going to keep referencing the fact that it's Friday. So folks that are listening on Saturday, because we had some confusion today since this actually uh, <laughs> happened, um, where you, you know, you, if you don't know what date it is, you're not, you're not sure that it's current. So we'll try to keep it going saying that it's Friday when there's the Friday show. So those people that are listening on Saturday will know that it's a rebroadcast without they having... They don't call in. Yeah, so they don't call in because we're getting a lot of calls into the station and... Um, and of course, it's uh, we're not there to answer it at that time. That's why we needed to make this little adjustment uh, in, uh, to uh, do the live show from six to eight. A uh, lot of stuff going on. I have a, a, a guest coming on uh, in about a half an hour uh, that will spend as much time as he can afford us. Uh, and I hope that uh, we can uh, put a lot of uh, emphasis on this. That he is a big uh, he's going to be a big assistance to us uh, getting this truth out with his network, which is the We the People Network, uh, which is all basically libertarian supporters and people of the, that understand that our government has been corrupted. And uh, for Ron Paul. Ron Paul, Ron Paul supporters, yes. That was interesting, what he was saying with the 1776. Yes, he's doing a 1776 uh, money bomb for Ron Paul uh, after the S South Carolina primaries. He'll be giving a lot of stuff, information into that, and uh, again, uh, a lot of stuff's going on as far as uh, moving the, 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 the listener base to a wider audience. Uh, again, this is going to happen uh, through this network because uh, there'll be a scheduling. He'll go over the details when we're on air, but basically we're going to be uh, in a rotation uh, across uh, this uh, Liberty Radio network and uh, three, three, or, um, three or four times there'll be postings or for the links uh, that they'll be basically promoting it and all art we need to do of course is promote them so let's promote uh, we the people network if you want yeah. freedom and uh, liberty join in they've got hundred and fifty thousand in two months ladies and gentlemen or two and a half months they've generated a, I think hundred and fifty thousand uh, people uh, joining as members uh, spreading liberty information and uh, and uh, you know the f truth and also truth information about the corruption the evil or the New Liberty World Radio. Order. The New World Order. No one talks about the New World Order. It's like a bad little thing to say. I mean, you're a conspiracy theorist if you say the word New World Order. Isn't that true? I mean, yeah. you know, uh, it's silly, but that's what we're all fighting against. That's what the John Birch Society is fighting against. That's what the Old Keepers are fighting against. You know, and we can't, we can't forget to uh, also mention next week our guest is going to be Hal Shirtliff from uh, the John Birch Society. He's going to be uh, calling in. Uh, to, uh, again, discuss uh, Agenda 21 on air. So that's going to be an important broadcast for next uh, uh, next Saturday at between 6 and 8 p.m. And uh, that'll be live. And that is going to be going uh, in accordance with the following Saturday, which is the 28th of, uh, of January. At 10.30 a.m., there'll be a live Skype as well on this and a live, uh, live stream broadcast um, of uh, the entire um, seminar that he's doing uh, explaining Agenda 21. It's about an hour long or so. That'll be uh, streaming live as well at 10.30 a.m. And uh, it'll be recorded and uh, attended at uh, Silas Bronson Library in Waterbury, Connecticut, across from the courthouse. Um, and uh, other than that, I mean, a lot of things, like I said, yesterday's show were going on. We had the, we were getting fluoride addressed in the state, in, in, across the state, realizing it's a state issue, and we're going to be contacting our state reps, you know, to let them know about that. Uh, a call out to all the people in the community that are helping us. Uh, TN Truther, or We Are Change, T uh, Tennessee. Tim Ramsey, you know, he's uh, out there. I'm calling out to you. And uh, also our uh, thanks to Pam Suggs and Harry Link from UnitedTruthSeekers.com and uh, DeathToTheNewWorldOrder.com. Can't forget, of course, Roger Landry, who will be our honored guest in just uh, a little while. Um, uh, it's just a, a lot of things are happening. It's very positive. We're getting the message out. People are starting to listen. You know, uh, we did have a transmission issue uh, last broadcast. However, I did film the entire thing uh, with a, a high-def camera. So we uh, actually are 
uploaded that now. You can go to Freedom First Films and see the entire uh, broadcast uh, on YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, Freedom First Films. Or right on the live stream, you can click on the link. Uh, it has now also been uploaded on live stream as a rebroadcast. So you can see it in, uh, in the library uh, as soon as it uh, renders. It's, I, I put the entire broadcast up there. So that's going to be good for that. But uh, moving ahead, well, what's the news today, Vinny? Yeah, I guess uh, before, we, before we get Roger, I guess we could touch on some uh, news. Uh, SOPA, I guess, is probably like the biggest thing going on right now, I guess, of news, right? Especially for people like us who are on the Internet and... Uh, Using the Internet to get this information out. Yeah. Uh, it basically looks like it's... Well, I'll just read from here then. Uh, let's see. The Internet is in uproar over the Stop Online Privacy Act. The battle lines are drawn. Big media, which is the record labels, the movie studios, and TV networks, support the bill, while big tech, search engines, open source platforms, social networks oppose it. The bill introduced to Congress by Representative Lamar Smith is ostensi ostensible su supposed to give uh, the Attorney General the ability to eliminate Internet privacy and to protect U.S. customers and prevent U.S. support on infringing sites. There is a lot that may be wrong with SOPA, but putting the battle to censor the Internet into the hands of the government is chief among citizens' concerns. Well, again, once again, it goes back to the whole logic that we have. A, a, we already have a, a, a judicial system. We have a penal code. We have, um, you know, uh, the, the draconian aspect of this is that they're saying that if you, for example, download a song illegally, that that site will be shut down. If you um, are utilizing information like, you know, they're even attacking what we try to do with fair use stuff. Like we use a lot of... Uh, uh, copyrighted material without permission because we can't get the permission or it's unobtainable or we're not, you know, but if or, you're not making money but off it. But if you're yeah. not making money off it, right, exactly, you don't have to. Now, if we were to decide to start making money off of the videos, then we would have to do licensing, which yeah. is simply pay a licensing fee so that you're allowed to utilize the information here herein contained. So, what you're basically talking about here is if you're making money with it, fine. But if you're not, I mean, it's fair use. Technically, if you ask me, for social justice and social change and thoughts, especially a lot of the truth music that we hear here on Enformed Radio, you know, songs like Wake Me Up. I mean, there's a lot of truth music, you know, out there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I was actually, this morning, just listening to a lot of Ron Paul music. Yeah, this new Ron there's Paul rap, music. Rock, rap, everything. rap, It's crazy. It's great. It's all good. Ron Paul music. That's true. And, and, you know, we have all of this, uh, the, the, you know, up here, and, and people share these ideas, and music is a way of sharing ideas. Now, you're not cheating the people by sharing music because they don't buy an album. They're saying, oh, that's what you're doing, it by sharing this information. But you're not sharing it for profit. Yeah, and if well, somebody wants to hide, you like know, that's what they're, you know, the, the you know, that, media that, being the record labels and the movie mm -hmm. studios. They want to force you to buy it. Or just force you to have to listen to their message, not or their ours, correction. Not the, hear the truth is actually evil. right. He's you're hitting on the most important aspect, but we're just going off the off the cuff of it. Yeah, but definitely, absolutely. Right. So that's the, why the reason those they're doing it is, is because they have a message that they want to give out. And in other words, alternative music, alternative radios, alternative stations, uh, mm -hmm. privately owned radio. Like we, like again, we 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 compl I you know this. This is a, a forum for music, so any truth music we can want, we can play out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a radio station. It's a it's a, you know informed radio. Okay, that's where we are. So we'll play music. You know, now you can't say that it's because uh, you're impinging, in, infringing on somebody's uh, rights because you're sharing information, knowledge, like like what we're doing now. And All of this honest, information is fair use. We care about infringing on people's rights. I mean, they're the well, biggest abuser. We, we shouldn't, it. right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, but, we're, but technically, we play. we're playing by the letter of the law. We literally yeah. are, absolutely, 100%. Don't we don't step out of line because we know those motherfuckers will 
knock us down. They can go and do all the criminal activity they, they can want. Infringe all they, want. It, they can infringe on everyone's rights, you know, grope you at the airport, <laughs> uh, now take you off the street because we think you're a terrorist, never show your family again, disappear. Remove videos. Um, you know, I'll remove videos from people, right, all, like, just over and over again. Mm -hmm. Shut down Facebook accounts 16 times. But you like, can't play your favorite um, song on Facebook or, right. or something like that, you know. Right. <laughs> um, they can wiretap you. Exactly. Like, this is just freedom. Like, what we're doing right here is just freedom. This is freedom. This is an example example of freedom and everybody please do the same I mean come on rant out here get, and, out, and get actually, your thoughts out actually, on what, what, what's going on in this country everybody's asleep watching TV I don't know mm -hmm. it's just crazy you know um, well like they say this is like a really a big a chief among citizens concerns I mean this has got to be uh, yeah absolutely a lot of, people. of course wouldn't you think so I mean don't you that like that is basically don't you, 1984 it is 1984 the, it's the messages you have to get their messages and and um, and uh, if you're if you're not going to be, uh, uh, I mean, literally, they want to say, like for example, Inform Radio plays music that you know uh, is on the radio, you know, uh, that that is, that is to be licensed if it was for profit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, then that's a, that's a different story. But they're saying that combine that effort because you're not doing it with an effort of profit, or you are. Uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable. They could they could put it in any terms they like. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you that the um, you're using the music, so now the music is uh, you know you have to pay a licensing fee, and uh, we're going to shut you down because you didn't pay a licensing fee. But everything's fair use. It's music with a message. It's not just random music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like the message that they want to give you, but they want to stop us from giving the message of truth. And uh, only allow the message of deceit and um, enslavement, basically. Yeah, and we got to keep an eye out, and we got to get vocal about and that's, stopping th this uh, SOPA. Absolutely, especially no, this. We can't I mean, have this. look at the Constitution. The whole idea is that it says we have a free press. A free press is that exactly what this is. Also, that we're all not only are we a fair use, we are a free press. This is a press. This is free press. This is freedom of speech in action on a medium, literally radio and video through television. So we actually literally are press. So we can go to events. And you can get and, through the cell and, phones. And if you be, have an and iPhone, be press. go to Shoutcast and you can get informed radio. In fact, we're a yeah, phones. of course, we're a legitimate radio station. There's no, ja no, no doubt about it. But the point is we're not, yeah, we we actually know, talk to we're not, we're not for profit. Passes, right? Yeah, we're going to do press idea. passes, of course, because we are going to go uh, attack these criminals, uh, you know, where they, where they, you know, where they hide. When we, well, you see, they're slick, you know, they don't let you know really where, they, you gotta really, it's tricky tr 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 to find them. But, we, you know, like, like, you we can ambush them. Eyes looking, right? We have eyes looking, we're gonna ambush them, and, uh, and what I mean by that, oh, for the FBI that's <laughs> listening, okay. We gotta watch for the word. <laughs> you gotta watch, you gotta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, what I mean by that is we are, as press, ambush them with as truth. press, we're gonna go, and <laughs> exactly, confront them with, uh, with the lies and deception. Um, I mean, if I could just have... 15 seconds. I mean, I could actually do it in 15 seconds with Ben Bernanke. <laughs> All right? 15 seconds. Um, it would just be amazing. It would just, he would just, and I wouldn't be cursing or anything like that. I would just spew out like 15 sec. well, maybe like 12, 10 questions you could probably get out in 15. Just one after the other about what we know that you did. So how do you feel about, you know, in, intentionally imploding the economy? So how do you feel about bailing out your, the bankster buddies and then, and then uh, leaving the American people with debt? I mean, like, you can just ramble on and on and on, you know? It's like, how, do you, how, did he, how did he not even know? Like Matt called in before. He, he was actually deceived by the, <laughs> by the, the, earlier. the, the, by the earlier broadcast. And he, how, 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 how did you not know? They're all claiming stupidity. They're claiming, literally, the banking and the most, the, supposed to be the highest people in finance, the most brilliant people, are claiming stupidity. On record, uh, Reuters, uh, Associated Press, on record, they, oh, we don't know how the housing market, we did not see it coming. They're criminals! They planned it! <laughs> I mean, again, it's just unbelievable. It goes on and on and on and on. And, uh, you know, that's why... I, another reason why I, I just want to see Ron Paul win the Republican nominee so much is imagine to see Ron Paul versus Obama to where they have to have 
It can't just they be, have no they choice. can't be Obama just talking to himself. <clears throat> you know, you're gonna have to have it. And Ron Paul will. It, it would be like, you know, like a master versus a midget, just like just abuse. He 